Hello everybody and welcome to another Lightboard session. My name is Mark Badigan, I'm a Senior Solutions Engineer at Zscaler. And today I'm going to talk to you about Zero Trust and how VPN as a technology is just never going to get you there. Now I know what people are thinking, Zero Trust is going to mean different things to different people. So let's talk about it from our perspective and the millions of users that are leveraging our platform every day. And as you can see here, we've got our typical setup, our data center that's hosting our applications, connected to our branch or headquarter locations, as well as the more sensitive parts of our environment, like an OT factory floor, and also providing that cloud connectivity up to say AWS or Azure. And if we think about what the VPN is doing, it's going to sit inside the data center and essentially listen for connections coming in from your users who are now working from anywhere. And there are two fundamental flaws with VPN. The first is that very nature of listening to those users coming in to hit it. And if we can reach it, we can breach it. So we would talk about this in the context of having quite a significant risk through the attack surf. The second flaw is that we're now bringing this user who's off the trusted network back on into the data center network. And essentially, we're giving them free reign to see beyond what they should have access to, particularly for things that don't have a firewall in between them. So this user, for instance, could be able to interact with the database here and all the relevant applications, but they might not need to do that for their day-to-day -day roles. Now, if we think about being on the network, this user could use a tool like Nmap to do all of this discovery for them, essentially giving them that overprivileged view of your critical infrastructure and beyond, maybe down to the branch or the HQ, maybe back up to AWS or Azure. Now, obviously, there are going to be times where you have a firewall that safeguards critical environments like the OT factory up here. But also, what if this user has that access to go beyond the firewall? Could it also run Nmap and start seeing everything else that's going on in here? This is the flaw with placing the user on the network, and a key stage of any attack is being able to move laterally within the environment. So what would this look like in a cloud-native architecture with Zscaler? Well, this is where the Zero Trust Exchange comes in, or the Zscaler Cloud. And the first thing that we're going to do here is remove the VPN. There's a saying that's going around in Zscaler these days, friends don't let friends deploy VPNs. And it's for these two fundamental flaws. And the first thing with the Zscaler world is that we have an agent that sits on the client device. And its primary goal is to talk to the Zero Trust Exchange. Now it's gonna be difficult to jump from the cloud into the data center here. So what we do is anywhere your applications live, whether it's in the data center or even in your AWS environment, we deploy what we call an app connector. And rather than listen for that inbound connectivity, it calls out to the Zscaler cloud. So we eliminate the attack surface posed by the listening of the inbound connections that a VPN causes. The second thing is we want to apply policy without having to place the user inside the network. So the connector here has the adjacency to all the relevant applications your users need to access. Now there might be certain areas of your organization that have a firewall between your users and it, but what if this user has the ability to go beyond the firewall into that critical infrastructure? I could still potentially see more than I should be able to. And so I could run a tool like Nmap to help me with that visibility. So I'd be able to see all of these applications and beyond down to the branch and potentially up into your public cloud. So it's important to know that policy is now not enforced in the data center or at the client. It's actually all enforced in the zero trust exchange. We want to leverage identity, posture, things that you're going to associate with the user to broker connections to the relevant applications using these inside out connections to the zero trust exchange. And we do this without having to place the user on the network. So if we think about the example around using a tool like Nmap to gain that level of visibility, that is gone now. If I try to run that tool when Zscaler is in the mix, I'm actually not going to be able to see anything bar maybe my local network or desktop PC, whatever that might be. Lastly, 
Zscaler wants to deliver a seamless experience through direct to cloud connectivity. And so the app connectors can be deployed in any location you have applications. And rather than having to backhaul traffic for users when connecting into your private cloud, we can take them directly through the fastest path on the Zscaler Zero Trust Exchange. And with that, that's been my time. If you'd like to find out a little bit more about how Zscaler can help your organization and what Zero Trust will mean to you, reach out to your account team, reach out to myself. We'd be more than happy to set up a workshop. Thank you. Bye-bye.